So in this video, we will go towards the laptop buying guide. So before buying a laptop, a lot of thoughts go towards your head. Uh, how to buy a laptop and what to look for, what to not look for. So this is basically that. So first thing is requirement. First sort out your requirement. You are buying this laptop for office purposes, studying purposes, gaming purposes or editing purposes. Once you have sorted this out, obviously you would have. So let's move on to the next step. In the next step, what you need to do is first you need to check if the laptop, if you are in a retail store, basically buy this from a retail store, you will be able to check everything about the laptop and you would also feel and see the laptop in real time. That's a really good thing. So buy this laptop in an offline store. That would be a way better thing. So when you're buying a laptop, ask the generation or see the generation of the laptop. So basically it should be a 12th generation laptop. It could be an i5, i7 or i9. So if it i5 or i7 would work for you, it would be great. But it should be a 12th generation laptop. Don't go under it because this is the latest one going on. 13th generation is already out, but don't go below the 12th generation. It would be latest and work best with your needs. So uh, these are office and studying purposes I'm telling you about. So after that, what you need to look for is if the laptop is lightweight or not. So if you are using it for studying and obvious purposes, obviously you will carry it a lot. For that, the laptop needs to be lightweight. So it should be around 1 kg. So just check the weight online also and ask the salesman also, he will tell you. So it should be around 1 kg. You can also pick it up and check if it's compatible with your needs. So around 1 kg would be good enough. And after that, what you need to do about the laptop is you need to also check the ports of the laptop. So ports are also one of the things that you need to check because these are the things that comes in that doesn't come in our mind. But you need to check because once you plug in your USB or transferring files, it will interrupt and slow your you know transferring speed. So you need to check the transfer of the files. For that, check USB. It should be uh, 2.0 version or 3.0 version. You can get all the details online. You just need to type the model and it will show you all the details and specification. And after that, you need to check the display. The display should be IPS LCD display because that is one of the great display. And only go for that display. Don't go for anti glare display. You will regret afterwards. IPS display is the best display for laptop. Go for the IPS display only. And these are the things for studying and office purposes. Yeah. So moving on for gaming and editing purposes, if you're buying it for that need. So what you need to do is first check the generation. Again, you need to check the generation before buying a laptop. Go for 12th to 13th generation. Anything below will obviously interrupt and disturb your needs and you will regret it. 12th and 13th generation would be good enough. 8 to 12 volts of the laptop would be good enough for you. And after that, the main thing that you need to check is obviously if you are a gamer or editor, you obviously know you should check its GPU. Obviously, the graphic unit is one of the things that provides the main performance of the laptop. On that, you need to check it. So, so first of all, you need to check if it's a RTX or not. So your laptop should be having an RTX GPU only. For RTX GPU, don't go below 2050 and don't do not go below 2050. Only go above 2050. It should be 3050 and 3050 Ti also comes under your needs and go above that. Don't go below 2050. So you need to spend around 60 to 70 thousand for entry level of a gaming laptop that is an entry level and obviously go for 80 to 90 watt hour of battery for both certain purposes also you need to have this much amount of battery so it will go with all your needs and it will last longer if you have this much amount of battery so go for 80 or 90 watt hour if you even have the 80 watt hour it's good enough so that's all the things you need to go towards and basically check everything out and uh, if it fits with your needs and no pocket then go for it these things you need to check before you are buying a laptop because 
if you don't want to regret it afterwards after buying the laptop make sure you check the display the ports the battery and the generation of the laptop and for the ryzen series so if you're thinking okay i can go towards 12th and 13th generation for gaming 12th generation for studying purposes and for office purposes, what about if you if I want to buy a Ryzen laptop that contains a Ryzen chip? So go with the Ryzen 7000 chip, uh, 7000 series. So go with 7000 series. And if you're a gaming gamer, also go with 7000 or above series. 9000 are the best. So go with these series. These are the best series for it. You know, if you want to use your laptop more efficiently, more powerfully and use the latest chip, this is the one. Go for it, you will also get updates. So if you don't want to, you know, get interrupted and disturb and again and again change your laptop, make sure you see all these things and then buy a laptop. You will be saving your money as well as you will be, you know, not regretting it afterwards and not slapping your laptop and throwing it away. So for that, just check everything out and then buy it. So that's all for this video. From this video informative, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. Thank you guys, thank you for watching. It's been Brian I'm a little sunny out.